One of the concerns that you might have is how to stand out in a crowded marketplace. Do you feel like you are creating content or selling in a uh, environment where lots of other people are saying the same thing or selling the same thing? So how do you stand out? That's what I'm going to talk about in this video. So the the bottom the the sort of philosophical foundation of this I'll, I'll start there is that you don't is is this to stand out in a saturated environment you need to care more than others are willing to care you need to love more than others are willing to love now that's what i would say i'm sure other marketing consultants and business advisors will say something else right but this is what i'm going to say to you care more than others are willing to care love more than others are willing to love and if you do that you will stand out so whether you are selling a product oh 10 million other people are selling this product but this person cared enough about me to really connect with me to find out more about me to really serve me without feeling like i was being sold you've got my business you see, or content, everybody else is talking about personal development. Everyone else is talking, well, talk about a saturated market. What about, my, what about my market? Everyone else is talking about marketing. And, you know, there's, if you think you're in a saturated market, think about what I do. I, I, I have, there are more bis marketing consultants and business coaches and social media advisors than any other field, it seems like, you know, especially online. So how do I stand out? Well, that's a good question for you actually how do how do i stand out versus the other 10,000 other marketing consultants and coaches that you can follow maybe hopefully you would say well george seems to care more than others are willing to care uh, others seem to just be no i don't want to talk about others but but you see what i mean so that's that's one of the um that's one of the key ideas and and how do we care more than others are willing to care do you care enough to show up enough Okay, that's or 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 are you? Do you care enough about your own fear, and about your own embarrassment? So, <laughs> care more for others than 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 the market is willing to care, and you will stand out. But if you care about your own embarrassment, about criticism from other people, if you care about uh, your own fears, and you know what if nobody likes it? And by the way, I have. Um, I've I've lit. I don't know if you can see this on camera, but I've lit an incense, so some of the smoke is coming into the camera. Um, Mango, my my cat is uh, an elderly cat, so he can't hold in his. Uh, uh, anyway, can't hold hold things in as much, and so he's had some accidents in this very room. This is where he usually hangs out, so that's why I'm doing incense here for for uh, dispelling some of the uh, some of the odor. Um, those of you who are pet owners know what I'm talking about. Or, or maybe kids, <laughs> young kids. Okay, so uh, do you care enough? Do you love enough? And, and this is essentially what I, I, I love this message so much because I really believe that all of life is a stage for your soul's evolution. Everything that happens to you is an opportunity to evolve and to become better. And so we have this essential choice every single day and every single project and every single moment, okay, and every single challenge, we have a choice, love or fear, right? Love or fear. And the same thing with your business. Are you going to give in to love more or will you give in to fear more? That is a choice you have today in your business. So what's going to be the choice? Can you remind yourself that that is the choice? It's not about whether you're good enough. Well, even that question, well, am I good enough? Who am I to do this? Am I good enough? That, that, those are fear asking those questions. Do you realize that? Do you realize what's underneath those questions is fear? Love doesn't ask those questions. Love says, you are always good enough and you are infinitely creative and people need you 
So how will you love them today? How will you show up today? That's what love is asking you. Listen to love. Ignore fear and listen to love. Let that energy grow within you rather than being so concerned with the fear, you know, and the silence and the embarrassment and the criticism. I said this in the last video and I'll say it again. You are not making a video for your mother. You are not writing for your dad, your critical parents or your critical, you know, whoever you have in your life, in your mind. Maybe it's your partner, your spouse, your friends, your brother, your sister, your uncle, your aunt, you know, your first grade teacher, whatever, whatever. You're not making it for them. You are loving your true fans. You're loving your ideal audience. They need you and they want to hear from you, whatever it is you're trying to sell or you're trying to create as, as content. So that's the first and most important idea that I have for you. How do you stand out in a crowded marketplace? love because everybody else tends to give into fear whether we're talking about fear and therefore people don't do anything but in a crowded marketplace everyone is clamoring to be heard and to be seen and to be prettier and to be uh, a more brilliant writer but a lot of it is fear is driving all of that and of course the, the the manipulation that you see and experience in marketing when people are trying to sending you all these emails and you're trying to strong arm you into buying, you know, scarcity, last minute things and whatever, those, those are fear. And so if you stand out with your love, you will be unique no matter what. And okay, so that's the first idea. Okay, that's, that's the first idea. The second idea is, or the second question really is, well, is my voice even needed when we talk about content, right? There are so many popular bloggers and vloggers and thought leaders and celebrities out there in my field. Why do they need my voice? I'm not, I don't even say it as well as they do. Why, why, do, why am I needed, right? Everything, everything I wanna say, they've already said, and they said it even more brilliantly, okay? So why am I needed? All right, so what, whoever, Oprah, Tony Robbins, I don't care, Brene Brown, Byron Katie, uh, Eckhart Tolle, I don't know who your uh, hero is or what your field is, let's say. But let's say you're in, the, you're in the same field as Brene Brown. You talk about vulnerability, you help people through uh, with more courage, et cetera. Brene has already said it more brilliantly than you could. So why, are you, why do you even bother? Why? Just go home <laughs> or stay home, <laughs> right? Brene's already said it. You know, Eckhart Tolle's already said it. Those of you who are spiritual mentors and teachers, Eckhart Tolle's already said it. Michael Singer's already said it. You know, everyone's, Jesus already said it. Buddha's already said it. Why, why, why do any of us bother? Because, because nobody has had your life experiences. Nobody has had the combination of your life experiences, your personality, your specific challenges that you've been through, and in the context of your world today, you know, whatever day, month you watch this, whatever's happening in the world, whatever you're going through, nobody has had that combination of emotions and thoughts as you and experiences as you. So, you know, Brene Brown can tell her story and can tell the story of her clients. You, my friend, need to tell your story. Brene Brown is not telling your story. Only you can tell your story. Only you can talk about what you've been through and therefore the lessons that you can share from what you've been through. And that's authentic because you're talking about what actually happened. It could be experiences and challenges you've been through or it could be thoughts that you've had that you thought you think, gosh, that's so, that has been so helpful to me. This particular thought that, I, that came to me that maybe you've had a peak experience or you just had, you've just been thinking through some things a lot and it's been very helpful to you. Well, guess what? You need to share that because the way that you share it is going to be different than fill in the blank thought leader is going to share it. Just by you opening your voice, you open your mouth or putting your fingers to your keyboard, it's gonna come out differently. It's going to be unique. And your true fans, there are 
4 billion people, which just to 4,000 million, a million people is a lot, right? A million people, you, you could never talk to a million people, if you even if you tried individually for the rest of your life. You just don't have enough time. A million people is a lot of people. Now take 1 million and multiply that room of 1 million people by 4,000. 4,000 of those 1 million is how many people are on the internet. Through Facebook ads, you are able to reach half of them, 2 billion people, 2,000 million people. And by the way, there's some people doing some stuff outside my, my, uh, my window right now. I can't close the window because I'm on Facebook Live, so hopefully, hopefully it's not too loud for you. Um, so there are so many people that some of them will resonate just with what, how you say things and just with what you say. Okay, There are some, some people who will resonate with that more than they'll resonate with Brene Brown or Eckhart Tolle or fill in the blank thought leader that you think, well, they've already said it. Oprah, Tony Robbins, Marie Fo whoever. There are some, did you know this? There are some people who will resonate with you more than with them. Now, it's your job, it's your opportunity to reach them. And you can do that through Facebook ads. You can do that through Google ads. You can do that through Instagram ads. You can do that through partnerships. You can do that by showing up more frequently than they are willing to. I, there are so many ways you can do it. But the key is to show up. The key is to show up. Now, you might say, well, George, what I want to say has already been said, and I just feel like, why do I need to add my voice? I mean, okay, maybe I can tell my story, and that's maybe that's a little unique. But what about some thing I want to say? Take care of yourself, you know, self care. Everyone else is self self. Everyone else is self care. Why do I need to say the same thing? Here's why. Here's why. How many people are still not taking care of themselves? I'm just talking if you if you work in self care, or if you work in, I don't know. Um, uh, Give me a topic that you work in. Put comments below. What do, you, what, do you, what do you help people with? Comment below. Now, let me ask you this question. Does everyone you talk to about what you talk about, have they already solved that problem perfectly? Do they already do it well? So I'll just, I'll just use my own example. I, one of my core messages, one of the key topics I talk about is showing up, as you can see in this video. Who else? Everybody else. Gary Vaynerchuk says it 50 times that he has so much content, right? Gary V has tons of content. He talks about showing up uh, 50 times a day on all these different channels. Why does George Cow still need to say it? Why? Because you still aren't showing up. That's why I need to keep saying. I'm going to keep saying what, what this message of showing up, just like Gary will say it, just like Tony Robbins will say it, just like Marie Forleo will say it, just like fill in the blank marketing business thought leader will say it. Everyone's saying the same thing. Everyone is saying the same thing. Show up, right? So why do we all need to keep saying the same thing? Because you aren't doing it yet. And when I'm saying you, I mean some of you, you know, and, and probably all of us aren't showing up in some way that we want to show up, right? So that message is true for everybody. I'm sure I'm not showing up in ways that I want to show up yet. You know, I can always improve. And so... Why do you need to keep saying something that everyone else is saying? Because your audience isn't yet doing it. And they're not yet doing it well. So they can't tire of hearing the same thing again and again. They won't tire of it. In fact, they might get tired of Tony Robbins saying the same thing. Or they might get tired of Oprah saying the same thing. They might get tired of Brene Brown's voice saying the same thing over and over. But then you, come, you show up and you're a fresh voice to say the same thing. And they're like, oh, I've, it's the same message, yes, which I need to hear, but it's said from a different person. Isn't that interesting? And she's even telling me her story. Well, is that, in, is that interesting? So I will say the same thing for the rest of my life, and you may get tired of it, and you may then go on to somebody else who's gonna tell you the same thing, and that's okay. I don't mind you leaving me. I'm big enough, big-hearted enough to say, you could go ahead, you could leave me for a while, it's okay. And you may or may not come back. I don't mind. 
because you can go, if, if it's going to help you to go to somebody else to hear the same message, I would rather you do that. Okay. But the same thing's happening, you know, with you. Somebody's going to come to you and say, God, thank you. I, I needed to hear the same message, but from you, but for, in your voice, because your voice is different. I never heard your voice before, right? I've never seen your writing before. It's, it's all the same thing. There's only a couple of things. There's only a couple messages that everybody says at, all the time for 2,000, for 5,000, 10,000 years, right? Be good to other people, just like you're good to yourself. I mean, Jesus said that. Buddha said that. You know, everybody says it. You know, the golden rule, <clears throat> treat others as you want people to treat you. Okay. Okay. Treat others as you want people to treat you. Um, <clears throat> you are loved, right? That's a universal message. You are loved by God. You are loved, you know, you're loved by source. You are <clears throat> in, in yourself. You are worthy, infinitely worthy as a human being, however you want to say it. Right. What other core messages are there that has been through all of history? We're just rehashing it. We're just rehashing it. You know, find your calling, the where your strengths meet the world's needs. That's been said a billion times in the past couple hundred years. There is nothing new. Nobody's saying anything new. It's just that everyone's saying from their own story and from their own voice. And so can you. And so should you, because that's what your audience is waiting for. So to stand out in the crowded marketplace. Just open your mouth, okay? Just put your fingers to your keyboard, however you share and however you sell, and care and love your audience more than you care and love your own fear. That's it. I hope this is helpful. And as always, I'm open to your questions and your comments. And I hope, um, I hope you will go ahead and take this message and take action. And thanks those of you who are showing up here uh, Captain and Stacy and <clears throat> Miriam, Shreta, uh, thank you for your for your uh, presence here and your comments, as well as Kendra and Gina, Molly and Mona. Thank you. So um, yes, all right. So yes, uh, Shreta says you know, she you know, she talks about gut health. Yeah, she's not the only person in the world talking about gut health. Of course, there are many more famous people than her talking about gut health. But guess what? We need to hear it from her. Her audience needs to hear it from her because she has a unique story, her own life, her own experiences. She has worked with people who have unique stories, their life, their experiences. And she has a way of saying it that's different from everybody else just because she's her, just because of the life she's lived, right? Captain says relationships is the, one of the things he talks about. Well, his relationship is not exactly the same, right? The relationships he's experienced is not exactly the same as everyone else's relationships. No, there's something unique about it, of course, because that's just the way human beings are. And the way that he's going to say it, inevitably, is going to be different. I mean, unless any of us are literally copying and pasting entire paragraphs from other people, just, just by us typing something, it's going to come out differently, right? So... Um, you are already unique. You need to show up enough so that others, and, and one more thing I'll say is this, when you show up, right, when your audience is watching your video, when your audience is reading your post, you are the only person they are reading or watching. They are not at the same time reading or watching somebody else. They are reading or watching you. Right now, you're only watching me. You're not watching Gary Vaynerchuk. You're not watching fill in the blank, whoever. Actually, who would you, who would you compare me with? I'm actually really curious. I know most of you don't like Gary Vaynerchuk because he's too hustle and hard, hard, hard hitting. But who would you compare me to? I'd love to know. Um, you're not watching that other person. You're watching me. So I am unique to you in this moment. Isn't that true? So same thing. When someone's reading your blog post, you are unique to them right there. You're, you're, stand, you're already standing out for them. And so you need to love them. You need to care about them. You need to just open your mouth and share your own unique story with them. So I hope this is helpful. Uh, Shretha says, our voice carries different resonance that will connect with the right people. Absolutely. So thank you. And I wish you courage and love as you continue to show up for the audience that so need and want what you offer. Be well.